welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy and it is that time again. We are going to be going through how much I spent on my cruise ship contract. And I'm, I'm honestly nervous because there's a lot of you who watched the video I made at the end of my last contract and we spent a lot of money on coffee and I've actually had the opportunity to meet many of you during this contract on Valiant which has been so wonderful but a lot of you have said like have you spent money on coffee this time and I'm like oh my god people are keeping an eye on me so yeah I'm nervous to do this but let's go through it I started this contract at the end of February 2022 and I was in quarantine for a few days. I think it was only five days this time. Honestly, it all blurs into one. But yeah, I was only in quarantine for a few days. So my first purchase was the 3rd of March and it was in Corkscrew Bar or Corks, yeah, Corkscrew Bar and it was for 9.60. So for those of you who didn't watch my last video, Corkscrew Bar is one of the crew bars on board Virgin Voyages, the Valiant Lady cruise ship. So yeah, I went to the bar, got out of quarantine and went straight to the bar. 4th of March, I went to the bar again and we spent $8. And the 12th of March, we spent $16 in the bar. And the 26th of March, we spent $10 in the bar. I think when I got out of quarantine in March, the restrictions were, or well, the COVID restrictions were quite loose, which is why the crew bar was open. And then in like mid April, that's when they like tightened things up. Um, so I think we got about a month and a half out of the crew bar before they like shut everything down because COVID cases were rising. So kind of like the 3rd of March to the 4th of April. So that's a month of regular crew bar purchases. Um, I mean, no, it's not every night. Actually, there's quite a few for the 4th. Oh my God. So on the 4th of April, there was an $8, a $3, a $3, a $3. That was the crew bar. Um, and then let's see if there's any more crew bar charges during my contract. There isn't. Wow. There isn't any more crew bar charges, which is great. Yeah, but then the thing is, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing is, on this contract, as you guys will know who have watched my videos during this, there was a lot of restrictions that came into place. So actually the only time crew bar was open is at the start of my contract. And then I think it opened up again in like June, like end of June. There was a long time where it was completely shut. Um, but by this point, like we had moved over to Ibiza, we've moved over to the Med and we had shore leave so we were able to get off the ship and obviously we were in Ibiza every week like why are you going to go to crew bar when you have an Ibiza overnight every week so I think that is the reason for the very little crew bar charges and also unlike on the Scarlet Lady I'm not gonna lie Valiant was very tame um like Scarlet Lady the parties were just ridiculous like they were so 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 great I had some wonderful nights in the crew bar on Scarlet. But Valiant was a lot more laid back. Like not as many people went to crew bar, not as many people were partying. So I think that is obviously another reason why there's no charges. Cause even when crew bar was open, there was no, there was no real parties. And for me, like I love a crew party, but especially having done cruise ships for as long as I have, that's really the only reason I'm gonna to go to the crew bar. Like if there's a fancy dress party or if there's like an R&B night or something like that, I'm not just gonna to go to crew bar for the sake of it because I'm not a massive drinker anymore. So in total in the crew bar, over my contract, I spent $72.40. And I'm not mad about that. Um, you know, I've been away since the start of Feb. So, or the end of Feb, sorry. So actually, $72 in crew bar is, um, that is fine. I think on my first contract, I spent like a grand. Now nah, it was more than a grand. I think it was like 1.5 and I was underage so if I was of age on my first contract it would have been a lot higher. So yeah I am not mad. $72 on crew bar over all of these months that I've been away is 
absolutely fine. Now we are gonna talk about coffee and this is the thing that I was most nervous to look at because on my last contract, I spent an obscene amount of money on coffee. And it was, it was unwarranted because they serve the same coffee in the coffee shop that you pay for that they serve in the mess for free. So I have to say, I was a hell of a lot more conscious this time. I took my takeaway coffee mug and I got coffee from the mess, which was free of charge, like 99% of the time. But you know, there's some days where you do want a nice little treat from Grounds Club. So I did go to Grounds Club a few times. On the 12th of March, 11th of April, in May, I went quite a lot. 1st of May, 9th of May, 11th of May, 12th of May. The only thing I will say, my mom came to cruise on that cruise. So, you know, it was my mom. I'm gonna, if she wants coffee, she's gonna get coffee. This is a, a, like a lot less than on my last contract. Uh, and then I went a bit in June as well. But it's not too bad. And the total amount of money that I spent on coffee is $93.28, $93.28. And you know what, considering last time it was, it was closer to $300 on coffee. Actually, no, I think it was more, it was like 400. Anyway, that's fine, I can live with that. It's still not perfect, but I'm not perfect. $93 on coffee since the end of February this year is acceptable. So next we're gonna go through restaurants. So on many cruise ships, they will have the buffet and they will have the formal dining area. Then they will have speciality, speciality, speciality restaurants that you have to pay extra for. But on Virgin Voyages, they've kind of gone with a, they've gone with a completely different concept. And basically, whatever restaurant you go to, you don't have to pay any extra. So this means crew members, if there is space, can also eat in the restaurants free of charge. The only thing that you have to pay for is alcoholic drinks. So let's see how much I spent in the restaurants on alcoholic drinks. Uh, right, so we've got extra virgin, uh, 20 through 20, that would have been a bottle of wine. And you know, if I've gone to eat in a restaurant and I've bought a bottle of wine or I've bought a drink, it's usually because either we're not working that evening because maybe we're in port till late or we're starting work like a lot later. Like if we're having dinner at six, we're not starting work till nine, so I'm like, I can get away with having one drink. We've got extra virgin, bottle of wine, pink agave, 16. That would have been in probably a few cocktails. Pink agave, 24. Again, cocktails because, I mean, if you've eaten in pink agave, you'll know that the cocktails are delicious. Uh, pink agave, again, 880. Extra virgin, 352. I don't know what, oh, that would have been like a coffee, maybe. I don't know. Uh, pink agave, again, extra virgin, gumbe. Uh, extra virgin was 37, so I obviously splurged on a nice bottle of wine there. Uh, but the total amount spent for drinks at restaurants is 136.24. Probably should have been a little bit more careful there, but. I wasn't, and it could be worse, but that is a lot of money uh, to spend on alcohol. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, and then we have the bits that I haven't highlighted, which are just like random, um, random things. So there's the layers of landscapes, which is 24. I think that was an excursion. So when we didn't have shore leave because the COVID, COVID restrictions were really uh, strict, they were doing bubble tours and some of them you had to pay for, so that would have been one of those, because I was just, I think at that point, I was so desperate to get off the ship, I would have paid $50 plus to be able to get off the ship. Then there's a few in the loose cannon, 30th April, that was when my mum came on. So yeah, we had a few drinks in the loose cannon and the dockhouse bar and stuff. Then we've got like crew shop, which was probably some biscuits or some crisps that I bought. Re I don't know what retail is. Oh, necessity shop. So that okay. So the necessity shop is 
the shop that sells all the snacks. <laughs> so yeah, four dollars, probably bought a bag of sweets or something. Then we have crew retail shop again, that's the crew shop, so probably bought some snacks. Again, then we've got On The Rocks, which is a bar. So I obviously went out for a drink in On The Rocks. And yeah, so those, those are just like random little charges that happened quite sparingly over the contract. So what was the total amount spent during my contract on The Valiant Lady? Well, let's recap. So coffee was 93.28, restaurants was 136.24, crew bar was $72.40, and then there's all the little like random charges in between. So the total amount spent on board the ship was $440. Woo! Now that is something that I am... I'm actually over the moon because my last contract, which was a five month contract, or just over a five month contract, I spent $1,130. This contract, I started at the beginning of Feb and got back just before Christmas. And I have only spent 400, what was it? 400 and only spent $440. I've got a memory like a sieve. That's less than half of what I spent on my last contract and it was a lot longer. So I'm, I'm chuffed. I'm really, really happy with myself there. Obviously it could have been less, um, but you know what? It could have been a hell of a lot more and last contract it was. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And I still feel like I had a good time. Like I still let myself have fun. And you know, if I wanted a drink, I had a drink. If I really wanted a coffee from Grounds Club, I had a coffee from Grounds Club. So I think I found a good, a good balance on this one um and hopefully hopefully i do the same on the next one and we don't go back up to 1130 you can see on here as well i didn't i didn't link my card to my laminex um i just did like pay as you go so i was topping up like 50 20 20 50 30 dollars like i was topping up kind of as you go um, and I really do think that that is a good way to save money. I think if you link your debit card to your ship card, it's, it's a lot harder to budget because you know that you always have money on there. So I do think pay as you go is a good way to save the money. Oh, but anyway, I'm really, really happy with that outcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please press like and subscribe for more cruise ship content. Have a wonderful rest of the day, guys, whatever you decide to do. I hope you are lounging around and eating Christmas leftovers and just having a wonderful time. And I will see you in the next video in the new year.